Well, hello again. Here we are. Back on uh, this radio. I said we'd do a alignment, and I thought we'd do a visual. Uh, some other time I might do a BTVM video uh, alignment. Uh, but uh, right now we'll, we'll do the visual. We've got the scope hooked up. We're getting a signal through. If, if you see um, it get bright and dim as a, uh, like a white line, bright line goes through and as it goes, that's just the refresh rates being different between the camera and this scope. Because this, this has got a regular CRT in it. It's an analog scope. It's not a digital scope. So, where are we at here? We are, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We're running signal generator. It's a sweep, it's on sweep right now at 455 kilohertz. And I don't know if you can see that real well. Uh, I get a little bit of flashlight on there. You can sweep 455 and 10.7 plus any of the rest of the the bands that's on here. We've got it attenuated down so the AVC don't get affected. Where we're hooked up at is down below here. Uh, we're hooked on to one end of this. There's a white capacitor. That end actually goes on down to that uh, IF can. It's the first or the second IF can right there and uh, it's hooked at a point remember I showed you that these got different letters on them it's hooked on point E and that's actually in the the entire service in, information um, they've got some of the RF wiring in here and right here it tells you uh, the oscillograph which is a oscilloscope connections as it says, the uh, high, vertical high to this terminal, which is right here, which is E. And there's that capacitor. Well, actually, that capacitor hooks to this and also hooks right here. Here's the coming up and coming right here is where I'm actually hooked. And then the low side just goes to ground. It's kind of covered up underneath here, but there's a ground terminal there on the volume control. Then we'll just follow the instructions. Uh, right now I'm hooked on uh, 6K7 tube, which is the IF tube. And uh, we, we're set at 455. We're on A band, which is the broadcast or AM band. We've moved the dial somewhere around between 550 and 750. If you keep it down low end, it gives an artifact on there. So uh, you want to move it up a little ways on this particular radio. Now, not all radios are the same. And as far as that goes, these instructions are only for this radio here. Any other radio would be different. They there, There's some base similarities, but how stuff is hooked up, where you hook it up at, and everything will be a little bit different on each radio. So you want to try to get your instructions so that you know what, what's going on. You uh, adjust the second IF transformer and you adjust L12 and L13. Now, uh, right up here, it shows you where all the adjustments are except for one which I'm surprised it actually sticks out right here but uh, here's your IF cans now the top screws on top are the secondaries they're odd numbered L13 is on the top L12 is on the bottom and these bottom ones now I've already adjusted this but I'll kind of take you through it but the bottom ones are real difficult to get to and I want to kind of see if uh, 
I can let you see what I'm doing. So, right in there by that white wire is a screw. That's the slug. Comes out and it's got a slot cut in it so that you can put your adjuster on there and turn it. That's, uh, that would be L13. That's the primary. Now, the other can, the second can, which is right there you can see where it's at and it's a little easier but on this one here you kind of go in between keep flashlight on it now as far as the rest of them go the other two again are right here on the top and right there is the other one there's the L11 or yeah L11 L12 and then there's the IF tube, the 6K7. We got a, a capacitor going to it. That's just a dummy antenna type. It just decouples the signal generator and stuff so we don't have any artifacts of DC that's affecting either one. It's just a .01 cap. I went ahead and put another one on the other tube right here. So I can just switch. So, and then we're just, we're hooked into the antenna ground, which is going right to chassis ground. So, we're going to, I'm just going to adjust the top ones. Like I say, the bottom ones are more difficult, but I want you to kind of see what's going on. So, we take a plastic tool like this. It's got little metal on the ends. You can get these uh, at various places. I got this one from uh, radiodays.com. But uh, you just uh, put it on there, get it lined up your slot, and as I turn it, you'll see maybe goes down down get a better hook onto it there I turn it the other way it'll go up if this goes out of focus I'm sorry I'm trying to it, it doesn't like the blinking and it goes down and back up so you just you keep turning it back and forth until you get it right where you want it and then you would uh, adjust that bottom one down here I showed you to do the same thing. And then all you got to do is at that point, once you're done with that, then you just take and reconnect, connect up to here. Now, we've got a lot of amplification going on, so you notice it went clear off the scope. So we've got to adjust the scope down to... Uh, so we can get it because now it's going through uh, the 6k7 amplifier now we'll just hook right on to this one and uh, okay, it goes down go the other way it goes down you bring her up just about peak and that's all you got to do. That takes care of the IF. Now, the rest of it comes down to adjusting the oscillator and the antenna. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now and get that set up. And I'll show you what we're doing. Alright, we're back. I've got us hooked up. We're hooked through a small capacitor. It's actually 100 picofarad. I didn't have a 200, but that should be good enough. Hooked into our antenna terminal here, and uh, scope's hooked in the same spot down here. And we've got a blip on there. Now, the thing about this, it says set it to 600 kc. Right beside it says 150.5 degrees. 
Now what that means is, is since this is out of the cabinet and there's no dial, you know, no numbers or anything, you have to have some way of knowing where you're at. And the way it's done is you make up a pointer, which I did here, just alligator clip with a piece of wire, and you set that pointer to this point here, which is a full scale with the uh, gang completely closed, and that's a 180 degree mark right there going through that rivet. And then you can adjust it, and I don't know if I, I can get you close enough to really see, but it's set at 150.5, and we've got our generator at 600 kc. So now what you adjust is L9, which is right here, and we can get in on here. Let's see what I'm doing here. You notice to take it off adjustment, and things kind of change. It's real touchy. It wants to peep up there real quick. So you kind of got to keep about right there is about as good as it's going to get. Um, let's try it again there. It kind of changed on me when I moved off of it. So we'll get back on it. Let's try it again. And about there. Now, the next step will be to go to 1500 KC, which is 28 degrees. So we take our generator and the nice thing about this on band C where it's at it covers the AM dial and I turn it right there's 1500 and I'm supposed to go to 28 degrees so let's see if we can get this 28 degrees keep turning and turning and turning and turning and try to get lined right up on it. I'm trying to watch it and watch you. I guess it could kind of look through the viewfinder. And there's, it looks like about 29, about 28. Looks about right. You got a very small little blip on there. So now it says adjust C25. Well, C25 back end of the radio, C25 is right there which relates to this in here we adjust in get ourselves set up here Ooh, touchy 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 and whoop. yeah that looks pretty good now I'll keep going back and forth at another point but one other thing is to just C30 which is the antenna which is right here on this point here and see going up About, about there and that pretty well takes care of it now the rest adjustments is for short wave I've already done those they're even worse than the AM band is about being touchy um, I gotta move them real just I mean the very slightest little bit and it goes completely the blips gone so that's really all there is to it uh, for adjusting those. The rest of these type adjustments in here that they've got listed would be for your push buttons, your presets, and uh, that's how you adjust those. You got a series of capacitors and a series of coils, and they're adjusted basically the same way as we did the AM, where we have a, a coil here and a capacitor here. So,
capacitor generally takes care of the high side, the coil is taking care of the low side <coughs> frequencies. So that's about all there is to that. I'm going to pause this so I can get everything disconnected and then we'll uh, see about uh, seeing how it sounds. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's uh, see what we got. Oh, it seems to be working all right. Around here, I don't have a lot of low end stations. Get some of the standard static that you get from everything else. Uh, it won't stay there very long. This uh, YouTube thing about copyright protection and stuff is, uh, I don't stay on music too long. But, as you can see, she's working. So, that's probably going to be a wrap on this one until I kind of get stuff figured out on the cabinets, such as grill cloth and things like that, and then buttons. And then I'll, once I get that figured out, which may take some time, I'll get her in the cabinet and we'll do a final on it. Until then, we'll head on to the next RCA radio, which I've already started some work on. I've got the transformer over here, uh, put some new wires on it. The old wires were pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, the insulation is coming off. We've got some rubber wiring also in the radio that needs to be removed. but. Uh, and in fact, uh, the uh, cans that I was doing on uh, when we was talking about electrolytics and restuffing, uh, that's the cans out of it. Already got the caps in there. They're hooked up. Ran through the bottom here. So we'll work on that next. So until the cabinet is completely done and I can get this thing in there. Uh, We'll consider this a wrap on this radio. So, thanks for your comments and thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully, this video turns out all right. But uh, we're running out of batteries, so it's kind of complaining. So, until next time, uh, you have a good good night. And well, at least it's night right now for me. Uh, I don't know when you'll be watching it, but have a good night or good day. And I should be having another video up before Thanksgiving, but if I don't, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.